Hey guys, it's 12.49 at night. <laughs> My legs hurt. <laughs> I just got out of a hot bath. It's hot, but I got too hot. I had to get out. I was laying down and nodding off, and I started to hear this noise. And at first, I thought it was a TV. But I felt so bad. It sounded like, I don't know if it was a cat or... It didn't sound like it was a cat. It sounded like it might have been a raccoon screaming. And it was coming from this way from to my left, which is why I believe it was a raccoon because one, two doors over, where they had all the woods over there. Uh, you would see raccoons in that yard, but since they didn't um, cut that grass down, you know, really, I don't know, I, I don't see them because I'm not out there at night, but uh, now you don't hear nothing at all. And Chapo was laying on the couch, didn't even bother to get up. I don't know if he was asleep or just didn't care. Um, so that's how I know it wasn't a cat, because he probably would have jumped in the window to see, you know, what the noise was. So I was hoping to catch it on here, but um, it stopped. And I'm glad it did, to be honest, because I felt bad. I mean, it got me up. I, I don't care for raccoons, to be honest with you, but that poor fella sound like something was wrong. <laughs> But it could have been a baby calling out, you know, but it sounded like something was wrong. I really felt bad. I was like, let me go see what's going on. Not that I could do anything. I had to charge up my uh, uh, massager. It was under the couch. Because when the kids was here, I was like, oh, my God, where's my charger? I never checked uh, to make sure. Um... They didn't take it out of here playing or whatever because, man, I'm telling y'all, my legs hurt. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'm going to lay back down. Hopefully, um, the little fella is okay now. Talk to y'all later. Good afternoon, you guys. I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. I got about two more minutes before my lunch break is over. Y'all got so sick after talking to y'all this morning. My head just would not stop hurting, and I got super nauseated. Oh, I was going to call off. I just wanted to lay down. My stomach started hurting. But it was so busy, I just couldn't make myself call off. I felt so bad. I was like, I can't do it. It's too busy. I just have to, I'm just, I was slumped over. I um, got some water. And I used this. This really works. It's super, I got it out there. It's been in the freezer overnight. And when I went and I got it, because I was like, wait a minute. And I put it on, y'all. Yes, it's freezing cold. You can only I can only handle it handle it for so long because it is freezing cold from the freezer. But it made my headache just halt for a little bit. Like it didn't come not halt, I, w I would say a better word would be it slowed down. Like, I didn't feel it as strong. You know, it wasn't like boom, boom. You know, um, but you can only leave it on for so long because then your, your brain, your head freezes. 
but this feels so good and it also has been helping with as y'all can see the black hair but when I tell y'all so on my lunch break I um fix myself something to eat I heated up some spaghetti a little bit of the pork meat I ate that I had a cup of uh, soda I still have my water here and then I just lay down for a little bit I responded to a text message about a vacation my sisters were trying to plan and I really want to go so bad but I just wasn't things just keep happening and it keeps setting me back and putting me in situations where I can't do anything even if I wanted to um, so I told him to go ahead and enjoy and then I text back saying if there's any way we can push it out further I know it sucks around the summertime because everybody's going on vacation at that time and you know um, you kind of want to do it where it's convenient for everybody and where it's cheapest you know but I mean I'm in a situation I can only do what I can when I can and how I can I don't want to borrow. I don't want anybody to do for me or give to me. You know, I, I just don't want to be put in that situation. And then here it is. I'm stuck trying to pay this one back and that one back. I still owe my sister from before. So it's just things keep happening and I'm just trying to get a hold on it. It's like every couple of steps I make forward, I get pushed or kicked backwards, you know, <laughs> two or three steps. And it's frustrating, but... Oh, I'm gonna keep moving forward. You know, that's all I can do. Um, it's 12:15, guys. So my break is up. I hope you guys, if you're on your lunch break, I hope you are enjoying your break. Um, enjoying the people around you. If you're enjoying your uh, lunch with someone, if you're by yourself, just enjoy that moment to yourself. <clears throat> take some time to pray <clears throat> um, Sorry guys, give me a moment. Doesn't help the fact that I took my uh, contact out. Okay, so the only thing about this is it doesn't last long. Once you put it on, and y'all know I'm not a fan of the cold. But once you take it out and you put it on, it's no longer ice cold. So, on my next break, I'm going to put it back in the freezer. It's no longer that, you know, temperature that it should be at. Um, so, yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get signed back in. I'm already signed back in, but I'm going to go ahead and work. And uh, I'll talk to you guys a little later. Bye now. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm in my last break of the day. I'm putting this mask back in the freezer. I'll use it later. I'm just gonna grab some chips. I don't really have a taste for anything. Um, yeah, they um, put up a VTO. You know, obviously, I would love to take it, but because I'm in a wellness, I have to first see if there's anything available there. 
but it's been really busy. So, <laughs> you know, I, I we put in a request and we denied. Um, they ended up assigning me another project. Well, they asked me first. And I appreciate that they asked me. Uh, I think I'll just have a little uh, cheese sandwich. They asked me if I would be willing to do make an outgoing call. I guess we received the facts, but they were missing information, so they wanted to know if I would mind calling the patient to try to get that information. Why not? So I shut my window so that I can hear. I call. I got a voice uh, voicemail, so I did leave a message, and I did put a note in case they call back. You know, the call can be transferred to me, I guess. Um, but yeah, I had to shut my window so that I can hear because with my window open, you can hear all everything on Washington. The cars go by, the water, everything. Um, problem with that is, <laughs> it's so hot. Like, I don't even, like I told y'all before, the heater is not even, the radiator is not even on. But it is warm to the touch in the bathroom, right? Whoever downstairs, the heat is rising up. And the radiator in the bathroom share the same wall, uh, my office wall. So I'm, I'm getting that heat plus the radiator there in my room is off, but it's nothing but warmth, right? So, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I am so ready for this day to be over. I am. It's a blessed and beautiful day. Um, but I'm telling you, with my eyes, I just want to close them. Right? I just, I'm just over it. <laughs> this garbage needs to go out um, because of, you know, emptying um, leftovers and all of that. It has a smell to it. So the next time Jeremiah goes out, I have him take it out. Unless I go out before him, I'll take it out. Um, but I doubt I go anywhere. I still need to get tissue and uh, I mean not tissue, toothpaste and a half a gallon of milk because it's got cereal and just a little bit of milk. Whoop. So yeah. So I fix myself a cheese sandwich, some chips and some soda. Um I'm going to eat that while I work. I'm hoping whoever it is, I mean the member, don't call back though today. <laughs> and I'm hoping they don't give me any more. Um, if they do, definitely I'll do it. But I'm just, I'm just so tired. I don't feel like doing anything. <clears throat> but uh, I will. I have to do a little funky. Let me get this cat out of here. First thing he do when I open the door is to get his butt up there and start sucking on the water out of my plant as always. So pull him back out. <laughs> oh, so my last break of the day is from 2 to 15. I went a little early. I went at 2 15, I think it was. I'm gonna break now for six minutes, so. Ah, uh, yeah. Just want to monitor my time so that I don't go back late. I can't see because <laughs> I took my contact out. Mm.
Yeah, that's a little written me out, but the weather out there is pretty nice. I mean, unless you just stuck out there. But just going to and from, doing a few things. Weather is not that bad. Sorry guys. Just get it out the way. Y'all know what? Really quick, and, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work. Yesterday when I left to go donate, and I'm going down Washington, and what made me think of this um, is the fact that, and I'm sorry, y'all. It's it's dark in here. I have all the lights and things off minus. You know my work like because everything was hurting my eyes but going down Washington and this is after four it's so nerve-wracking when you have schools and things on a major street and people don't have sense and they stop and they double park their cars just in the street and now traffic can't flow properly if that's not the stupidest thing, you would think that the school would have security out there making sure cars do not do that. Direct those cars to go around, make, you know, set up some particular location, right, where you can pick the kids up, they're being monitored, as opposed to people just stopping, double parking their cars holding up traffic I'm talking about a major street right where you got traffic backed up people coming down central no down was it up no central not Austin it was either Austin or central I think it's central I forget no it's Austin people coming down uh, Austin they can't make a right because there's cars backed up because one person or two people are just double parked they don't even have sense to get over as close as possible I mean just the stupidest thing Then you have oncoming traffic and because it's a narrow street if oncoming traffic gets backed up yet again because somebody's holding it up you can't go around you can't do nothing you're just sitting there blocking traffic traffic all out in the street it's insane and it should be a better way so annoying they did this on Washington down by the school it's basically I see this on Washington period then coming home down Madison people were double parked running into the restaurants this that and the other it's like park your freaking car why double park in the street on a narrow street and disrupt the flow of traffic I don't understand. They shouldn't even be allowed to do that. And then you have some people that'll park right, they'll double, you know, park, put their hazard lights on. And then they get in a car and they just jump out. It's like, really? I just don't understand it. Even out where my mom is, she's 
She's right next to a school. Now they're stopping, they're parking, they're dropping the kids, picking the kids, but now they're blocking her driveway. Who does that? Well, people can't get in out of their driveway because you sitting there. Move your freaking car. I would call and have every anybody told, especially if I have a sign saying, do not block my driveway. Why? You know what I'm saying? Or I would put something out. Um to extend my driveway a bit so that nobody can park there you know I mean, we have to be considerate of other people I don't know I just had to share it y'all I had to get that off my chest because I was truly and utterly annoyed yesterday when I'm trying to hurry up and get to where I gotta go and I can't. Not because there was an accident, not that that would be better by no means, but just because you have an inconsiderate person sitting there. Really? Anyway guys, I'll talk to you later. <sighs> hey guys, really quick. It is Friday evening and it's 6.55 p.m. I'm just getting back in the house maybe about 10 minutes ago. And let me turn this off while I'm talking to you guys really quick. Um gonna take a, a nice hot soak. Uh, I have such a headache. Um, I don't want to take anything because I took something earlier today, so I'm trying to just deal with it. And then when I get out of the tub, I'll go and get the ice thing mask out the freezer and use that. Hopefully that will help as well as it'll help with this. But I just wanted to share with y'all right quick. When I tell y'all if it ain't one thing, it's another. So I'm laying there when I got off work, right? I'm laying in the living room on the couch. Watching um, Kathy of Van Life. Um, she's the one that, you know, bought the land. Um, she still travels sometimes in her, you know, van, you know, with her babies, her three dogs. And so I was watching her video and I was like, hmm, you know, she was laying down some flooring, the mats, which I think were excellent idea, gave me good, some ideas. But after that, she, um cooked herself like a pasta with um, broccoli and mushrooms and onions and for the meat she used this plant based not meat <laughs> um, sausages and she was saying how it was really good so anyway while she was doing that I had a taste for McDonald's fish filet I haven't had a McDonald's fish filet, so I can't even tell y'all long. So I said, you know what? I'm going to grab the garbage out. Grab the garbage. Go around and get me a fish filet. So I, I go down. And I drive the car around because it's parked in the front. So I drive it around the back so that I can drop the garbage. Um... I drive it through, around through the alley so that I can, you know, drop the garbage, right? And I noticed the car was pulling to the right and it felt low. And so I'm like, okay, hmm. So I put the garbage in and I go back around, go back down. I go down Washington and I'm like, this car seemed a little low. And so I said, am I on a flat? I pulled into the gas station and sure enough, not only was the right side in the back flat, but the right side in the front was flat. And I just got a new tire in the front when they did the muffler. They put a new tire on the car. $50. I'm like, oh my God. This is why, perfect example why my check a lot of times is short and it's easy for me to catch up and do some of the things I need to do because things happen keep happening right and I end up having to use my rapid pay and that you know it's like oh my god so 
And I'm not complaining. It's frustrating, yes. But I'm not complaining because God did make a way. The rapid pay was there. Yes, my check will be short. Um, but what can I do, right? I put air in the tire. Went to get my fish fillet. I was frustrated about that for sure because when I pulled up to the window, now don't get me wrong, it's okay to have a good time, enjoy your job. But when I get to the window, the girls laugh and this and the other, can I, can I, okay, hold up, hold up. That is so annoying. Girl, take my order, okay? She playing in the window. It's like, oh my God. I'm like, what? So, I placed my order. I wanted a fish fillet with cheese and ketchup. That's it. No tartar sauce, just cheese and ketchup. The half of don't put the tartar sauce on there, which is good, but she also didn't put the freaking ketchup. And I didn't check it. That's my fault. I should have. At this point, I'm just trying to get back to the house so that I can take the money, transfer the money from like have a heart say from one account to the other account. <laughs> um, I, I was so frustrated. And I didn't even know that they didn't do it right. Um, because I, I left. I came home. I came upstairs. Did what I had to do. And then grabbed my sandwich and came back out. Because I was like, okay, I'll eat my sandwich on the way. Or when I get to where I'm going. And I and, and was praying that they were, they were open. They were not. So I'm like, oh God, I, I can't let this car sit overnight. It's going to be super flat, both sides. I ended up, as I was going down Cicero, there was a shop that was open. I pulled into them, and I've been to them before um, with Jeremiah, not for my car. But I pulled in, and... You know, the guy was having a hard time getting the tire off in the back. He was having a hard time getting it off. I'm like, what the, you know. But the the lugs were, they were damaged. And when he showed it to me, like, they would, it was just horrible. So I re replaced all of those. Got a new tire. Then the front. He was like, no. He said, mommy, your tire in the front is fine. He was like, the problem is your rim is cracked. I was like, damn it. I just replaced the rim on the back, on the left side, which is why there's one rim that don't match the other three. I was like, can you fix it? He said to, to weld it, it would cost $140. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no. He said, you'd be better off going to Bionic, pick a pool and get you. I said, no. I said, the place right up the street did the one on this side. And he only charged me, I think, like 50 bucks. If I remember correctly, I forget. <sighs> so what he did was he put like a ceiling on it. But he said... You, you know, you need to get it fixed right away. I say, yep, I'm going to go in the morning. Um, because he said, you might get up in the morning and it's, it's flat again. Um, if the tire is fine, it's the rim. <sighs> Which is frustrating because the streets are so raggedy, y'all. I, I have never, ever had to keep replacing tires like this, right? Um, and, and, and rims. And it could be too, obviously, I keep getting used tires or whatever instead of going and spending 80 and hundreds of dollars for a brand new tire. I don't have that. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to get up in the morning and I'm going to go to the same place I went to where I got the other room from and pray that they have another room my size and that they don't charge me a whole lot. So, he ended up charging me $60. Um... He charged me fifty for the tire in the back, and then just three dollars for the each for the you know the lugs, just sixty. Um, ugh. <laughs> so frustrating. <laughs> it's frustrating. I'm not complaining. God is good.
my damn frustrated. I'm glad I, I I'm glad I had a taste for fish for you or I never would have known how to been in here and get up in the morning to go get in the car and the tires are super super flat flatter than what they were today at least today I was able to drive it to put air in it right I'm, I'm praying that when I get up in the morning it's not that front tire is not super super flat you know if I have to Going, I need four quarters because the machine cost a dollar. The air, and so what I did was, um, after I put air in both tires, um, you can switch it from the air to the vacuum. So once I put air in the tires, I switched it over to the vacuum and I vacuumed out the front of my car, cleaned my car out while I was sitting, um, which is what I normally do a lot of times. I just I can't stand the smell of that freaking. And I'll keep asking Jeremiah to, you know, stop cleaning the ass. I mean, if you're going to smoke, I get it. Clean the damn ashtray out. I don't smoke. You know what I'm saying? So why would I want to get enclosed and can't breathe? Like, I don't want to inhale that. I'm more than accommodating. Clean it out. You know, it takes a moment. It takes a moment to put it in there and just a moment to take it right back out. Like, clean the crap out. It's frustrating. Oh. But anyway, I cleaned it out. Garbage, you know, I got the garbage out. I didn't realize there was a garbage bag in the back, so I tied it up and threw it in the back. And uh, I'll clean that. I'll get that tomorrow. Whatever's in the back, back is going out. I'm not asking no questions. Um, everything is going out. I will make an announcement. Whatever, you know, if it's important, go get it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm getting rid of garbage, you know, but yeah guys, so, it's a little frustrating, so now I am going to try to do some videos up, tomorrow I will go try to get that real replaced, and um, Hopefully, you trust in God that I'll be able to do that with no problem. After that, hopefully, there's nothing else wrong, go wrong with that car. In the meantime, I mean, I know I still have to get a fuel pump. I still have to get control on, on the left side. We did the right side a long time ago. Oh, so much. But I'm just going to take it one day at a time. That's it, that's all. You know? Um, okay, yeah, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, you know what I say? I'm expecting great things. I'll tell you one great thing. A couple of great things happened, but the most important thing is the fact that I was able to catch um, the situation in time and to get it you know, fix, get a start on, a head start on getting it fixed. Um, so one tire is done, one down, one down and one more to go. So that's a great thing that happened to me today. And I'm, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful, grateful. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish letting this water uh, rise up. It's really hot. So, um, I'm not sure how long I'll be able to put it on. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time because um, as much as I love hot bath, soaking, I can't deal with the heat anymore. Like, y'all, it's hot in here. I didn't come up out of my room. Again, I'm in the living room because it's cooler. It's cooler. My room is it's just too hot. I don't, I don't, <laughs> it's hot. This bathroom is hot. This radiator is hot. It's not even on, and it's, it's generating heat. It's, if you touch it, it's heat. It's hot. It's not burning hot, but it's, you know, it's, it's heat. <laughs> and it's like, what the heck? You know, same thing with the living room, but the living room is a little bit bigger. It has more windows. So, obviously, um, if the radiator is off, which it is, which it is um, even if there's still some heat 
when you touch it, uh, my living room is not hot. At least not at the moment. <laughs> so I'm grateful for that. Um, like I said, um, quite a few times now. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead again and let you guys go. Please enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Be smart. Be wise. Enjoy. Be blessed. Be a blessing. You know, um, I won't be doing much or nothing because I can't. <laughs> You know, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, it's all right. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and try to get some videos down. If I don't get them today, I'll try to get them out tomorrow. <laughs> I've really become quite, I don't know. I was just telling my daughter I've just been having so much on my mind lately. Just so much going on that... I just don't care to do anything. <laughs> you know, if I don't have to do anything, just have no desire to do anything right now. Um, I'm not depressed. You know, I, I can see how I could be, and I see how in the past I would be. But I'm not gonna allow myself to succumb to that. Um, things happen, you know, God is good. So guys, take care. I will talk to you, to you tomorrow, be the Lord's will. Sorry for the quality. I'm in the tub. <laughs> and I still wanted to, you know, just talk to you guys. Let me see. Yeah, see, because I pulled the curtain. That's what I should do first um, to welcome in the light, but it's done now. Um, I'm going to pull it back down because that way if anybody had to come use the bathroom, they can still, if Jay has to use the bathroom, he can still use the bathroom. Um, yeah, guys, I've been twisting. <laughs> My hair needs to be redone, and I just don't, I just don't have the energy or the, I just don't care right now <laughs> and I know that sounds horrible and but I'm just being honest you know we all have those days those times those moments you know um, and I'm just having one I had to put Chapo out he wanted to come in but Chapo likes to get up under the shower curtain and fight and scratch at you um, and then I'd be concerned that he's going to jump up. And I don't want him falling over in my water with the nails. If he didn't have them claws, I could care less. But because he had them claws, I'm not trying to get scratched up on his way of trying to get out. Right? Like earlier today, when I got off work and I was there on the couch. And um, I really hadn't communicated with him too much today because he kept drinking out my plant so I kept putting him out so I felt bad and I was like meow 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 you know so as soon as that meow meow he gets up and he comes over to me and again the windows open so he comes over he steps on me you know um goes to the window um first he first he steps on me he communicates with me his way and then he um gets in the window for a moment and now he wants to sit on my chest rub all up against me and then take his paws and just you know do this and so I'm like I can't see you in the way and so as I go to move him he's doing this and when he does that that claw come out <laughs> and he got my thing like right the my palm and my lip a little bit with the claws. I was like, come on, Chapo, move. Like, he's, you know, move. <laughs> so, um, I had to shut my room door because I had to spray him up out of because he didn't want to come out. Um, so I shut the room door and then he tried to come in the bathroom. I was like, no, buddy, no. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not. So, he on the outside. Usually he, um, trying to get in like he putting his paw, his, uh, Paw under the door, but it's just been hot. So, um, when I put him out and he can't get into Jeremiah's room, he just sits outside, lays outside the door, which is what he's been doing all day. Um, 
and then yesterday and part of today he's been in here in the sink bathroom sink because it's cooler um because it's just honestly been that hot um in here that he's like i'm, I'm sitting in the sink <laughs> so yeah anyway guys i'll talk to you later all right um enjoy your friday night and please have a safe weekend bye guys